let's take a look at some interesting snap count numbers, rather, from West Virginia's game against uh, TCU. It's just me, Jordan here, popping into this video to remind you guys, if you haven't already, do us a favor, hit that like button, give us the thumbs up, that'll help this video's performance and help future videos' performances here on the channel, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, helps us, helps you, helps get more of this Mountaineer football content out to Mountaineer Nation. Additionally, we just wanted to say to everyone in the Country Roads webcast community, and to all of you throughout Mountaineer Nation, Happy Halloween. Let's go. Mountaineers. All right. Let's go here. Lowest number of snaps. Of course, you had two snaps actually for Preston Fox home at wide receiver. He got in there a couple times. And then, of course, Garrett Green got two snaps as well. We saw him in, you know, both of his snaps, you know, come around on that orbit motion behind the quarterback and catch a swing pass and. Looked pretty athletic doing so, and we know he's got some quickness to him. So I kind of want to see him involved there more so in the Mountaineers offense in that receiver position if it's a way to get him on the field, um, especially, you know, with – we'll talk about the Mountaineers receivers a little bit, you know, going for, further on here. But I liked what I saw getting Garrett Green out there in the field. I know he was out there again for another play, just lined up in the slot, and there was a penalty before the snap, a false start, I do believe it was. But um, he was just running, you know, a slant, traditional wide receiver route there on that play. You know, didn't do any, you know, orbit motion, nothing trickeration really involved in the snap, just kind of lined up as a traditional receiver there. So that's interesting to see moving forward. Um, going ahead, snap counts. Traylon Davis got nine snaps, and we saw him, again, make a nice catch for the second consecutive week and pick up a first down for the Mountaineers. So that was positive to see. And, I think, you know, over these final four games, we're going to need to see him get more than, you know, nine to ten snaps. I think last game that was about where he was at too. But uh, we'll see what the Mountaineers choose to do there. But I really – I think I like him for the future. I think he's a guy that's – he's built a little bit different than the other tight ends. You know, Mike Olaf and Brian Palende, they're the more traditional tight end bodies, you know, 6'5", six, 6'4", six, whereas Traylon Davis is almost more like a fullback type uh, body. But I always heard, you know, coming out that he was going to be a really good blocker and everything else was going to, you know, take some time. But it looks like he's the second-best receiver besides, you know, Mike Laughlin. They tend to go to Traylon Davis if they're drawing up a pass play to the tight end. Very rarely do you see it go to Brian Palindi. So he's got to watch moving forward, and I wouldn't be surprised to see in this snap count series. His snap counts, you know, get up in the double digits, you know, moving forward for these last four games. Speaking of double digits, uh, Cortez Braham got just there with 11 snaps in this game. Not too bad a performance, but like I said, I would like to see more of him and Jeremiah Aaron, who in turn played 18 snaps for the Mountaineers. And I think, you know, both of those guys uh, could be targeted a little more, could get a little more snaps in my personal opinion. That's just me. Um, halfback, of course, is where it kind of gets interesting. Jalen Anderson, 13 snaps. We knew we may have to see him in this game. We didn't know if Johnson, Justin Johnson would play, but he played banged up. But during the game, C.J. Donaldson goes down. Don't know the extent of that. Neil Brown said, hopefully, it's not long-term, but it doesn't look good. was uh, something around the quote. Of course, I'm paraphrasing, so we'll see what happens with that. But you may see more of Jalen Anderson, you know, moving forward throughout the season for the Mountaineers in these final four games as the injury bugs starting to add up there at running back. He played 13 snaps. Justin Johnson played 24 snaps. And C.J. Donaldson with a pretty big workload there at 44 snaps. Um, Reese Smith, only 39 snaps at receiver. Actually, a little bit surprised there to see him a little bit low there in that. And then, of course, your high snap counts on the day, of course, go to the guys that played every snap, those being Wyatt Milam, who had 83, 
Thomas Remick, who filled in a left guard for the injured James Committer, made his first career start, played every snap, 83 of them as well. And then Zach Frazier played 83 snaps also. So those three guys played all the snaps. And then, of course, JT Daniels also getting 83 snaps. Other offensive linemen that saw action, of course, Jaquay Hubbard starting at right tackle got 55 snaps. He was split in time there with Brandon Yates for a bit, who got 50 snaps. But Jordan White went out later in the game at right guard, who saw 61 snaps, which means Brandon Yates switched over to the inside and played right guard pretty much to close out the game for the Mountaineers um, there. So that's kind of the snap count numbers that stand out on offense. Let's flip it over here. Let's look at these defensive snap count numbers. A lot lower here as the Mountaineers only, you know, uh, totaled up what looks like 56 snaps on defense. If that being if Charles Woods and Aubrey Burks played every snap, I'm going to guess they didn't. Um, so West Virginia probably just divided up the snaps very well, but I don't know. Let's see here. Um, it doesn't look like they see anybody really spelling Lee Cova, so maybe they did. I don't know. I have to look into that, how many uh, plays that TCU ran. But I know at one point they were running a low amount of plays because they were scoring so fast. You know, they had ran – only, you know, a couple handfuls of plays and had, you know, 300-plus yards, something like that. So that that may be accurate, actually, that it was only, you know, 56 snaps for the defense. But nonetheless, I digress on that. Let's uh, look here. Uh, lowest snap count total on the defense is Sonny Redwood, but he did at least get to see two snaps in this game. Saw him get some action. Would love to see that increase there. But West Virginia is just so strong on the defensive line, specifically with their starters and, you know, their first guys in off the bench that it's kind of hard to wiggle your way into that rotation right now, especially, you know, you got Dante Steele's the team, you know, now the program's all-time career tackle for loss leader is a guy you're competing with, um, you know, for snaps. And Sean Martin, who's had a, you know, really strong year as well. And then, of course, not to mention, you know, all the other guys I could go on there. So hard to get in, but he's going to be a guy in the future. So I'd like to see him get more experience in these final four games and, you know, maybe see a double-digit snap game again for him as he had only two in this one. Jalen Thornton, who we haven't seen too much, I know he was battling injury early to begin the season, but he's a guy the Mountaineers thought could really help them on that defensive line as well. And he got five snaps. I think he's a guy you'll see more in the future. Linnell Carr playing 10 snaps there, splitting some time with Jared Bartlett at the Bandit, of course. Davis Mallinger, unfortunately, only played 11 snaps in this game. He was injured, and that's something the Mountaineers are looking at moving forward because you've lost your starting spear now in Davis Mallinger. And his second string, your backup there, who you, who you had moved to Spear to be the backup, Lance Dixon, hurt. Uh, so I don't know if they'll move Jasir Cox back over uh, that way. They had been playing him more in like that wheel-type uh, role in that wheel position, linebacker position, rather than the Spear he was playing earlier in the season. They may have to transition him back and let him play a little bit more Spear. But in this game, you know, they didn't want to do that so abruptly. So you saw Raleigh Collins the true freshman, and Nate Muhammad, the former walk-on, kind of split those snaps up. Nate Muhammad got 34 of them, and Raleigh Collins got 11 snaps there at the spear spot. And both of them actually uh, made plays. You know, Raleigh Collins, I know, made a TFL on a, on an attempted reverse near the goal line when she had the goal line stand against TCU. That was awesome. I think he's a guy that's going to be good in the future. And then Nate Muhammad, even, the former walk-on, had a standout play. I believe that was either a TFL or a sack on one of TCU's uh, late drives when they were trying to close the game out there late in the final four minutes of the fourth quarter. Um, furthermore, some snap counts uh, on the defensive line. Yet again, Mike Lockhart with 14 snaps, Eddie V with 15 snaps. So both the guys you got spelling your first guys, they're playing, you know, a few handfuls of snaps. Malachi Ruffin, who I thought played arguably, which, you know, probably his best game actually as a Mountaineer. I don't even know if it's arguable, but I think he played his best game as a Mountaineer. He's, you know, had to fill in at that cornerback position, you know, multiple times for the Mountaineers this season. We've seen him struggle with that in the past. Uh, this time, I thought he really seemed like he was up to the challenge. He even got, you know, the interception there late in the game that the Mountaineers unfortunately didn't turn into points or do anything with. But that was a huge play that really could have changed the game. And if the Mountaineers would have won, that's one you could have looked back on and see, said that was a really big uh, play there. Eggs low, of course, uh, 22 snaps. Taj Austin, 26 snaps. Uh, and then among the safeties, of course, Jasir Cox getting 33 snaps. Marcus Floyd getting 29 snaps. Hershey McLaurin getting 36 snaps. And then, of course, the safety getting the most snaps is, you know, tied for the most snaps in the game, and that's Aubrey Burke, somebody that's really been coming along for the Mountaineers defensively and I think's had 
a really good last, you know, two to three weeks for sure for the Mountaineers. He gets 56 snaps. And Charles Woods, it was so good to see him back on the field. Also has the high snap count for the Mountaineers in this one with 56. And right behind them, of course, uh, Lee Coble with 48. Jared Bartlett with 44 at the Bandit. And then your two uh, big defensive linemen, Dante Stills with 43. And Jordan Jefferson with 38. So, you know, it was nice to see Charles Woods back there. I'm glad to see him up there in the snap counts. You know, from the very first series, he broke up a screen. And I was like, man, we've been. We've been missing that type of stuff from from there. So there's a look at some of the interesting snap count numbers that stood out to me in this you know game against TCU. Having said that, as always, I'm Jordan Cruz, and until next time, let's go Mountaineers. Mm-hmm.